CSGO has received an update that fixes that exploit that I covered recently. For those of you who don't know, Aquarius over on Twitter discovered that muting the enemy team and then recording a demo would unmute them again until they were within renderable distance of your position. This would tell you not just how many, but also which enemies you could expect to run into before you could even see them. But no more, because it's now been fixed. The last few weeks of Operation Missions have been leaked, and it looks like there won't be any co-op strike missions this time around. Which is a real shame, as those were always the best and showed some real effort on Valve's part. The Flashbang Dance Music Kit MVP Anthem has been adjusted, and by that it means completely changed. Two days ago, Selim NS commented on Nothing's latest YouTube video, saying that it was very short and that it should contain the drop part of the song. Nothing replied to him, saying that there might be a change coming. And suddenly, yes. I'll link to a comparison video just here. The various adjustments to controller support appears to be for Valve's soon-to-be-released Steam Deck portable gaming device thing. And how about that? There are also hints that Vulcan rendering might also be coming. Who could have guessed that that was going to happen? But what hasn't been mentioned in the patch notes is the new radial menus, which look and sound and taste different from before. Here are some before and afters so that you can see how they compare. They're now bigger, and there's text stating what they're going to make your character say before he says them. And the weapon screen has also been given an overhaul. Rather than seven equally sized sections, it now has a separate section for every single item that you could dream of whipping out in a match. The weapons and bomb have been given larger segments than the rest, since they're more important and it makes them easier to select, especially when using a thumbstick, like on a Steam Deck for instance. And this new design lets you see what's in your inventory and what isn't by what's highlighted. Or rather, lowlighted. And there are now quick little animations for selecting stuff. So that's nice. The Danger Zone Map County has had a few bug fixes. I couldn't find them myself, but browsed through the bugs thread on the workshop submission and found images of the issues there. Here's a floating barrel, which I presume is now fixed. Players would previously spawn outside of the playable area during the warm-up period, which I hope is also fixed. And apparently clip brushes have been added to stop players from getting stuck when jumping, but I looked around and it seemed like most of the clip brushes were already there, so who knows where they are. Basalt has also received some small changes, and something tells me they've had a lot of fun making this map. Simplified path means that they've removed this corner from T-Spawn, replacing it with a much more open path like this instead. The guest book has been updated to contain the latest QR code entries. Numerous books and signs across the map have been updated to speak good or Icelandish. I couldn't find the apparently missing sides of wood beams on A-Site. I looked everywhere, and not wanting to admit defeat, I wonder if it's something from an earlier version like this where a metal fence got swapped out for wood, and then maybe one of those was missing for a while? I don't know. Previously, trying to go for a swim in this water would instantly kill you. Which was overkill, given that it was clipped off already. So the trigger hurt has been removed, allowing for a nice relaxing swim. So all in all, I'm a bit disappointed because I couldn't find a few of these smaller updates. But at least now I can go for a swim and forget my worries. fixed.